Morning guys, welcome back to the vlog. Hi! <laughs> it's pretty early and we're heading down to the island. Um, we just want to show you around because we haven't been down there for a bit. I know I went down for the royal family, didn't I? But yeah. um, I've been avoiding it because it's been so busy. But we're going to take down you down. There. It's uh, like I say, it should be quiet down there. The, park, the car park's quiet. Kids were still in bed. So we thought, let's go and take you for a walk. Lots of people just arriving here for the day. Right, the first place we're going to go is the fairground. I want to show you the fair. It's all closed there. at the moment. Yeah, it's so. all closed. But there's a couple of new rides there since I came last. Now, don't get me wrong, they've been there a few weeks, but yeah, I haven't showed you them. Okay, so in the fair, people keep, keep asking me what, what's going on with, with social distance and everything. This is what's in place. They've got these on every single ride. Uh, social distancing markers, gloves and masks are available. And look, we've got this. Look, this is on the, on the Dodgems. We've got signs here, stay safe, no alcohol. And as you can see there, antibacterial spray. They're using to spray down the rides and a good sign it's almost empty so yeah this is good we've got social distancing signs everywhere we've got some dinosaurs up there they're cool but every ride has got a hand sanitizer and the reason i'm telling you this again is because people continually ask what are they doing as far as social distancing they're doing everything that they're supposed to be doing here we but... haven't been down here when it's super no. busy have we so no. we don't know what um social distancing no. measures we haven't been anywhere when it's off busy. their own back have we? Have we? we haven't been anywhere when it's been no, busy we've avoided but, it purposely yeah but people got to take responsibility they're restricting the amount of people that can come in and they got the, all the social distancing markers they got all the hand sanitizers wiping down rides they're There's wiping down a rides a lot, lot more they can do apart from go up to people and say right two meters yeah so <laughs> but i i gotta be honest and i've said this everywhere i've gone People need to start thinking about social distancing because the police can't enforce it. So they need to take responsibility. You've got to take responsibility, guys. Well, and do you know what? Right, I really appreciate if you, when you come to the island, to try and social distance because it's stopping us locals being able to enjoy what we've got on our doorstep. This is why we've not been down yet. And I don't mean why we haven't been down the fair. I'm talking why we haven't been down the island. Down the island. I came down for the royals the other day, but it was a cloudy day, forecast rain, and it was quiet. But please, if you come. Social distance. It's not rocket science. Just don't get too close to somebody. But yeah, we got the swings here. We got extreme there. And these are the new rides, guys. These are the new ones. Look, there's social distancing markers everywhere. There's a hand sanitizer. You couldn't really do any more. And this is the other new ride I haven't shown you. And as you can see there, like hand sanitizers. Guys, they're doing everything they can do. But I can't emphasize this enough. Please, social distance because it's, it's it's just not nice for us you know we love coming down to the island okay, when it's busy everyone's own safety as well isn't it yeah the thing is you come here like when we were on the beach the other day it was really busy wasn't it i mean yeah. people were spaced out they were that. um but it was so nice to see everybody having fun and, and enjoying, enjoying themselves, themselves again yeah you need to like you know keep trying yeah. to live and, and, and the thing is if people continue to not social distance then we're just going to end up back in lockdown and yeah, all this will be closed again. This is what worries me and this yeah. is what I don't want to happen. No, that's right. So please, social distance. The fair's doing everything they can. We've got the, the arcades are all open again, which is fantastic. Let's go and have a look in Stardust. Yeah, Stardust has just opened. Let's have a look. As you're probably aware, this is Henry's new arcade. So let's have a little look. <laughs> Yeah, this is really cool. Look, see, we've got, we've got the sign here just to make people aware. You've got hand sanitizer on your way in. Guys, it's really, yeah, it's good. It's airy, plenty of, plenty of breeze coming through. It's all good. It's all good. We've got Greg's open again. And it's fantastic to see all the shops open again. Okay, this is the beach hut and the, the Barry Baydor shop. And look, see, maximum people, four, as you can see there, wiping it down, sanitizing. But a maximum of four people in the shop at one time. Okay, we got coastal coffee, personal favourite of ours. As we come inside, 
hand sanitizer, escalate, got all the shields up. The staff are wearing masks, it's fantastic, don't see that very often. And uh, yeah, everything is in place to keep people safe. Carousel open again. Times is open, social distancing. Like, well, don't look open at the moment. We've got the donuts shops open and Caesar's Palace is open again. And again, we've got social distancing markers. We've got card models open, but we've been in there and yeah, everything they're doing, everything they're supposed to do. Fun Arbor, our personal favourite arcade, is not open right now because it's still early, but yeah, it's all cool. We've been in there. The kids went in there the other day when um, Kate and William was here. So yeah, I know that's all good. But it's all good here at the moment. When it's quiet like this, it's fine, you know what I mean? But I can't emphasize enough. You know, people got to start taking responsibility for their own actions. And we need to social distance, you know? Otherwise, it's just going to get spoiled for everybody. Got Marco's calf. All the tables are spaced out nicely. And the promenade has been divided into two. I've showed you this before, but as you can see there, people are not following it. Even though it's cloudy, still people, plenty of people enjoying the beach. We've even got surfers there. But people do need to take responsibility for their own actions. It's almost high tide here at the moment. But it's a bit cloudy. Uh, yeah, it's on the turn, isn't it? What you will be aware of, every single morning, this beach and prom is spotlessly clean. And let's try and keep it that way. That's always been an issue because, again, people just not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Day five, scaffolding's been taken down, but still no idea when they'll be open. These steps here though, these have been closed and I don't know why. I'm guessing it's through the damage to the steps. I see anything I can think. Yeah, these were all resurfaced not long ago. Goes to show it was a poor job done, doesn't it? It's a lovely wave here. This is nice. Lush, isn't it, mate? It's so nice I love people it. People enjoying the outdoors again, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know why Teddy T's haven't opened the indoor yet. There's still takeaways and orders. Good morning Jackson's, they're open up again and so are the other calves along there. That's a nice touch there, thank you to all key workers. A couple of days ago we did a video where we ate out for the first time and someone made a, a valid point about saying that why didn't we support a local business? Now it's true. it's true, it is true. The reason we didn't is because it was peak time on the island where we are and we wanted to make sure we were at somewhere where it was plenty of space. All these restaurants are doing everything that they should be doing, but some people are just not following rules and I don't want to put myself and my family at risk. So we chose the biggest restaurant with the biggest area and that's why we went to Spoons. And also it is a very good deal, you know, it's cheap. <laughs> so guys, we want you to keep coming to the island. Yeah. It's, you know, so lovely and you're missing out if you don't. Yeah, of course. But it is down to yourselves when all the yeah. Um, uh, what is it? All the, the social distancing markers and everything. All in the place, measures are in place. Yeah. The traders are doing what they can do. Yeah. But people got to be responsible for their own safety they and uh, be mindful of social distancing. Social distancing is the main thing, I think, yeah. isn't it? Of course it is. Um, the thing is, if you're far enough away from somebody, you're safe. Um, and, but just right. some people just can't seem to grasp that. And I'm not just talking about Barry Island, I'm talking about everywhere we've been. And I'm, I mean everywhere we've been. Yeah. Even places where but they've I got security. But I do get it. Like, I get sidetracked a bit, like when we were going shopping and that. You get in the moment. You do, you do. But you just got to keep reminding yourself of, you know, yeah. why we're doing this. Yeah, and to keep ourselves safe. Yeah, exactly. And None so that we don't end up on lockdown again. Because that's the worst thing. I, I just can't imagine if we end up on lockdown again. Because there's parts of the country that are going back on lockdown. Yeah. And we don't want to go on lockdown, guys. So if you come to visit, just please be mindful of everybody else. Keep your distance. And have and fun. Then, and have fun, yeah. yeah and then you'll be able to keep coming here, won't you? you know? That's right. It's yeah. just nice to see and let yeah. people coming back, enjoying themselves and yeah. um, That's right. being safe. Yeah. So guys, stay safe. Social distance. And... Don't get lost this watch. Yeah. We'll speak more soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>